what's up? Big Herc 916, positivity, motivation, never settle for average. You know how we do it over here. Go to BigHerc916.com, pick you up some merch, grab you a hat, t-shirt, bar soap, and wash your ass. Or pick up my autobiography, Against All Odds, and uh, represent. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. You know, last night I was um, kind of on one and I was thinking about some things and asking the universe what my calling was. You know, at times I'm doing different things and sometimes it seems like I'm putting energy out into the universe, but I'm not getting anything back. And, you know, you have to realign yourself and, you know, get your mind tuned back in and and just, you know, see what, what comes about once you're able to find your groove. And then today I got this this message on BigKirk916.com. You know, I asked the universe, what is my purpose? You know, I, I, I often wonder, you know, I've done a lot of different things in my life, but I knew what I was doing at the time that I was doing and wasn't my purpose. When I was selling drugs, I knew that wasn't my purpose. When I was robbing, when I was doing adult movies, you know, when I was doing Time in the Pen, you know, a lot of things I've done. And I'm like, man, this is not my purpose, man. I'm here for something greater. And then I get this message. And I want to share it with you today from uh, somebody who, who wrote, Dear Mr. Herc, if that is a correct title, I just want to send you a message of appreciation. I myself am not in the direct risk of ending up in prison, but I really like your content. I respect the fact that along with your life story, you prove the capacity of human growth and wisdom. I try to imagine you as the gangster you describe on the inside and can only imagine a wise man with a life experience only a few men have. You will never learn me how to behave in prison because I'm as square as mathematically possible but I learned from you that a man can grow, learn, and wise up no matter the cards you get. That alone got me out of a very negative spiral and gave me hope and I cannot be more thankful. I watch your stuff, not for the hints and tips regarding prison life, but for you as a character. In a very unplanned way, your videos made me more of a grown up and a responsible man and I could not go on in life without thanking you. For a very long time, I did not have a father figure to look up to because of drugs, and I needed to find my examples elsewhere. Although, although our lives are polar opposites, I'm from a small city in Europe called Antwerp in Belgium. I still connected and learned from you because your content radiates a certain wisdom that every man can use in life inside or out. Again, I wanna thank you for that Along with people like David Goggins, you were part of my maturity process as a young man, and out of respect, I felt obligated to personally thank you for that. Even if the changes are slim, that you can respond as a big content creator. You taught me how to respect goes a long way, how to be more careful around people whose intentions I don't know, and how to create connections with people I might find intimidating. Those things alone helped me immensely. Again, thank you. I hope you stay as eloquent as you are right now. I love the no-nonsense experience, based stories that apply to all walks of life and the wisdom that radiates through it. Somehow in a magical turn of events, I'd hope to share a meal and conversation with you. Kind regards and a big herc thank you from a listener who sees how your life and your story thought me more than I would expect should be taught me more than I expect. Greetings. Yeah, man. Um, you know, after reading that and then thinking about what I asked the universe, I realized that my calling is what I just shared with you is sending out a positive message to young men around the world. And although I may not reach you know, millions of people in a sense of the subscribers or the views because of 
um, just however this algorithm impacts my channel. I know that the people I do reach, it makes a difference. And um, that motivates me to continue doing videos, sharing knowledge and information. I know if I would have chosen a different path, more possibly entertaining or more along with a different narrative, maybe I would have a different level of fame, but at what cost? I can only be true to myself and I have to be able to live with myself. So there are certain things that I just can't, I just can't do, I won't do. And, uh, you know, I've done a lot of different things throughout my life, but at this phase, I do things that I feel I can sleep with at night. And so sharing the knowledge that I share over here and on Fresh Out is uh, what I do because I feel it makes a difference. You know, a lot of people, they put stuff out because they want people to feel a certain way so that they can get a response. I do things that I feel come from my heart. I say things that I don't really script. It just kind of comes out and I don't really even know what I say until a lot of times I watch the video afterwards. But, um, you know, hearing this from this gentleman in, uh, in Belgium and Antwerp and the language differences, it just really uh, reflects that I'm on the right path and uh, the universe has blessed me and I will continue to share my content with you guys and put my message out. And I hope it impacts a lot of you out there the same way it impacted this young man. And I wanna say thank you to this individual who uh, sent me this message. He says, I hope my English is okay. I'm not a native speaker, but a fan nonetheless, amen. The universe uh, spoke to me through you. And I appreciate you, man. Big Herc 916. I didn't start off as a bad kid. Officially, I only got one real spanking my entire life. My mom did the best a 14-year-old could do, raising me with love and instilling values that will last a lifetime. I was a straight-A student and lived to make her happy. So how did I go astray? A horrible stepdad that stole my self-worth and invoked fear turned me into a person that I struggled to overcome. From skateboarding to selling drugs, gang banging in the juvenile hall, I got caught the same way many young promising men get caught up. I struggled to find my identity, getting mixed up in shootouts, crime, and the adult entertainment industry. This roller coaster continued as I juggled college, hustling, and Hollywood, eventually catching a federal bank robbery case. I found redemption in prison, while serving a 120 month federal sentence and came out a man on a mission. I became a social media influencer with over half a billion views on YouTube and a life coach mentoring people all over the world. This is my journey against all odds. Go to BigHerc916.com and purchase you a bar of soap, one of the books I've written, a hat, a beanie, a t-shirt, tank top, or some detail spray for your car. Lockdown's over. Get your yard time in. Exclusively at FreshOutSeries.com.